Welcome back to the newsroom. I'm Caleb. And I'm Nate. Now here's Lexi with events. Fairmont's last school dance will be on May the 17th. Now here's your spicy meme of the week. It is time for the Lunch Bunch Book Club. It's the last one of the year we're reading Jacoby. It's kind of a cross between Sherlock Holmes and Doctor Who. Come pick up your book in the library and we will be meeting on May 16th to chat about it. Thanks. Attention all skaters and scooters. There is a natural high take pride in ride scooter competition. If you ride or a skateboard or a scooter and you think you got what it takes, then come on down to Rhodes Skate Park in downtown Boise on May 5th for skateboarders at 10 a.m. to 12 a.m. and scooters at 1 p.m. to 3 p.m. It goes from 6th grade to 12th grade and it's free. So come down and treads, dude. Thanks, Lexi. Now here's Jordan with yearbook. Welcome back to another episode of Valerie Yells at Teachers. This is Valerie. Hello! She's super loud, so we put her out in the middle of a field so she wouldn't bother anybody. Can you hear me? And now she has some questions. Why do you think students should buy a yearbook? Um, I think students should buy a yearbook because I think photos are the one thing that lasts the test of time, and one of my favorite things to do as an adult is look back at all the pictures of all my friends from school. What is your favorite part of the yearbook? Whoa, Valerie, take it easy. Um, I definitely say my favorite part is seeing all the pictures and the activities that um, the teachers and kids went through during the year. Being here for so long, it's cool to look back through past yearbooks up to present to see what's changed and just all the stuff that's gone on. And Do you know how much a yearbook costs? It's $25 with an activity card and $27 without. That's all the time we have today. Say goodbye, Valerie. Bye! Make sure that if you are going to fill out a yearbook application for next year, that you turn it in by Tuesday of next week. Thank you. Thanks, Jordan. And here's Lexi with retirement. Some of the faculty here at Fairmont are retiring, and we wanted to talk to them one last time before they leave. What are your plans once you retire? Well, I actually make a lot of artwork, and I make uh, hats out of repurposed wool. So I'll be doing that again, and then just having fun, sleeping in, getting enough sleep finally, and uh, going on walks, hiking, stuff like that, just having fun in Boise. I think I'll probably get on my Harley and ride the coastline. What will you miss most about Fairmont Junior High? I have really enjoyed working here with the staff and all of my coworkers and the kids. I'll miss the kids. The kids are great. And I have to say the ninth grade class this year is awesome. And I will miss you guys. And I hope I wish you the best of luck. I think I'll miss a lot of the teachers, a lot of the staff, but mostly I'll miss the kids. Being around the kids kind of keep you young, and I enjoyed it. Thanks, Lexi. Now here's Jordan with Energy PSA. Mr. Dean and Ms. Leonard's class recently did an energy audit here at Fairmont. Here are the results. Power strips can drain energy called vampire drain when they're not in use. Turn them off when you're not using them. The computer cart drains 40 watts after the computers are fully charged, so unplug it at the end of the day when it's charged. When classroom doors are open, the heaters and coolers are trying to regulate the hallway temperature, so keep your doors closed when you can. The Department of Energy recommends that your thermostat be set to 68 degrees in the winter, 78 degrees in the summer. By following these guidelines, we can save 10% on our energy bill. Teachers, remember to turn off your power strips when you're not using them to shut your classroom doors and to keep your thermostat at a seasonal recommendation. Thanks. Now here's Jordan with Lip Sync Battle. Welcome back to the Lip Sync Battle. This week we have Mr. Kloppenberg and Mr. Reynolds performing Rolling in the Deep by Adele. Now here's Mr. Kloppenberg.
Thanks, Mr. Kloppenberg. Now here's Mr. Reynolds. Thanks, Mr. Reynolds. Don't forget to vote at the end of the video. Thanks, Jordan, and to all the teachers that participated. That's all the time we have today. Thanks for tuning into the newsroom.